Thanks for that, Curtis. And excellent advice from that uh, well-educated man on the situation. I know after this weekend with all the snow and sub-freezing uh, sub temperatures that we had, a lot of people are thinking they can squeeze in that last couple of weekends of ice fishing. And you might be able to, but always in any situation, just double check, make sure you're double checking the thickness of the ice before you head out there and just always be careful and err on the side of caution. Now temperatures out there aren't too bad right now compared to the weekend and across the state things are looking fairly clear at the moment. But once Tuesday turns into Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day, the tail end of it, we should be seeing a few snowflakes in parts of the state and that'll carry over into hump day. You see what Capital City will be getting a little bit of snow on Wednesday. Same story on Thursday as that comes up, snow back and forth. Friday, though, things should start to trail off. And the weekend, here's a little spoiler alert, the weekend should be looking pretty good for us. Not a lot of snow can be expected over the next couple of days, at least compared to this last weekend. We might be seeing an inch or two at the most part uh, in areas across the state. So more or less a light dusting across Montana. Nothing, and I mean nothing, compared to the numbers that we were seeing over this past weekend. 14 inches in Stanford, Shoto 13 inches, 12 inches in Cup Bank, Great Falls 11 inches, Capital City 9 inches, almost 10 in some spots. It was coming down and coming down strong. And it didn't stick around though, as you've probably noticed being out and about. Here's a live look at Mac Pass. Roads are looking pretty clear at the moment because of all that sun we've been having today, heating up the snow, heating up the roads. So that snow has been melting, but guess what? That melted snow will certainly be turning to ice tonight once that sun goes down. So keep that in mind if you're going anywhere tonight or early tomorrow, give yourself a little extra time. Temperatures uh, across the state today, we were in the 30s. Tomorrow, here's what we can expect on St. Patrick's Day. Just a little warmer, just warm enough. 44 degrees in the capital city, 37 in Great Falls, 27 in Haver, Lewistown 37, Cup Bank 32, Bozeman 40. So high 30s, low 40s will be the story for St. Patrick's Day. Then that snow will start to come in. On Wednesday, we can expect to see it a little bit in and out across the state. Temperatures holding fast for the most part. 40 for the expected high in Helena, 29 in Great Falls. So quite the dip as you head north on I-15. 38 in Bozeman, Lewistown, 27, 26 in Haver, 22 in Cut Bank. So temperatures on a bit of a roller coaster. Still not awful, but going up and down depending on where you are as we head into Thursday. That snow again sticking around on and off temperatures as well sticking in the 30s, low 40s in a few parts, Missoula 44, but for the most part hovering just above that freezing point. Again, the cold, but not awful. Here's the best part though. Here's what I've been saving and here's what I've wanted, uh, been wanting to treat you with the entire forecast. Seven day forecast in the Helena area, 35 for tomorrow. We've been over this 44 on Tuesday with that snow, Wednesday 40. Spring starts on Thursday, still 35 degrees, a little bit of snow, but forget all about that. Check out the weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that sun is coming back, sticking around. Clear skies for the most part, and we can see a high of 51 degrees on Saturday, 52 on Sunday. Temperatures at night are still dipping down into below freezing, 24, 25 degrees, so it still will be cold, 17 degrees Thursday into Friday in the Capital City area, but the weekend afternoon will be looking great pretty much across the state. Taking a trip up north, you can see similar temperatures as usual, just a little different to be annoying, just a little different enough to be annoying. 46 for the high on Saturday in Great Falls, 49 on Sunday, 39, or 35 on Friday, so a warm up is on the way, but little snow showers can be expected over the next couple of days. Andy, thank you so much.